Hello, my amazing babes, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Amber the Baddie, and I'm here with another video, you guys. Oh, I've been feeling so annoyed, so anxious, so, so many not good things. And you know why? Because fucking social media. I'm telling you, social media is ruining our lives. Straight up, it is ruining our entire lives and I am sick of it. I am over it and I wanna talk about it because I don't know if I'm crazy or if everyone else or anyone else feels the same as me, okay? I've been on this journey for about, let's say the past year of like really intentionally trying to be off social media as much. Like we all know the damages of social media. We know what it does to our dopamine, our anxieties. We're all literally addicted to our phones. Like we have short attention spans. We're, you know, comparing ourselves to each other constantly, all day, every day. It's distracting us. There's a bunch of negativity on social media. Like we know why it's so bad. And I've been trying to be off of it a lot more. I had those apps where like I could only be on like certain apps from like 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. so that I'm not scrolling all night. But it doesn't help. Like I probably spend only like 30 minutes a day on social media. It's really not a lot. But I've been noticing how much it is affecting my mental health, you guys. Like, and in such the smallest ways that sometimes I don't even know if I notice them. But I notice that I am just super fidgety. Like I can literally not be standing in a line somewhere for more than 30 seconds without automatically grabbing my phone. Literally, I was at a stoplight the other day, waiting for the light to turn green. And then I noticed like, whoa, why do I have Instagram open right now? I'm literally driving. I didn't even like consciously make the choice. My hand is just on autopilot somehow and like automatically goes to the scroll. And I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? Like I have just really noticed, especially the past week, that like every time I go on social media, I am literally traumatizing myself. And I think all of us are. Social media is traumatizing all of us. You know, you literally open your phone. Oh, a bombing in Israel. 300 children died. Ooh, cat video, meme, school shooting, election. This person was murdered. More cat videos. Ooh, that's a good recipe. My phone's my friend's selfie. Oh my God, this woman was raped by 50 men. And it's like, we are traumatizing ourselves, but also desensitizing ourselves at the same time because we get this, oh my God, reaction. And then we forget about it and we're like, oh, okay. And we're getting used to it. And like, just what the fuck? We're getting so much negative information. We're getting so much news, so much politics, so much bullshit fed to us that we are not even choosing. Like I miss the days of Instagram where I would only see my friends post, where I would see things in chronological order, where I'm not getting suggested a bunch of things and a bunch of ads every fucking time. Like I'm fucking over it, you guys. And on top of that, it's just making us all fucking insecure. We're looking at someone else. Oh my God, their body's amazing. They're making more money in their business. Her hair is so nice. She has so many followers. I wish I had this many followers. Oh, well, since I don't have this many followers, then that means that I'm not good enough. And then I'm gonna start thinking neg negatively about myself. Like we are all in these loops so much, so unconsciously without even fucking realizing it. And we're doing it to ourselves all day, every day. Like there are people who spend hours a day on social media. If you're a person who spends hours a day on social media, how do you feel? Like genuinely, like I, like an hour max. But like, how do you feel? Do I just have a really fucked up algorithm? Or is everyone else feeling the same? Because it is literally just making me feel so depressed, you guys. It really is. And it's so crazy because like, I feel so depressed. 
but my life is so perfect and so amazing. And it's like, it's, it's almost the opposite of what people say where people are like, oh, you know, their Instagram feed is like, you know, just fake and, and curated and like, they're pretending to be so happy where in real life they're actually not happy. And for me, it's like, in real life, I'm so fucking happy. Like, I live in Hawaii. I'm going to the beach all the time. I'm married. Like, I've got a successful business. Like, I'm making money and I look good and my titties are perky. And like, I'm staying in the sun. So, like, I love my life. But then the more that I go online, somehow the more negative and the more depressed that I feel. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. And, you know... I decided I'm gonna delete all my social media. And not like delete, delete and not have it, but like delete it off my phone for the last two months of the year. So starting November 1st, I'm deleting Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, Snapchat, Twitter, everything and taking it off my phone. Same with my emails. I'm just trying to be off my phone and really be in the present moment. Anybody wanna join me on that, by the way, this year? like. For the last two months of the year, you just say fuck it and you get off social media and get off your phone and stop wasting your time and start understanding yourself because I've just come to realize like I have just been fed all these lies and beliefs and like just you know how society just makes you feel that like okay success means you need to have this you need to make money you need to have a house you need to all these things that we're just told is what makes you happy and like it's really crazy because now that i bought land and we are super deep into that process and we're gonna be living fully off grid growing our own food you know like it makes me realize how out of touch we are with reality and it's like as a society like we're just going so backwards we're so focused on the wrong things. We're told we have to work our whole life and retire when you're 65 and have kids and get married. And like all of this bullshit that is just part of the system to really make money. Like everything about America, not just America, but really the world, but let's just start with America. Everything about America just pisses me the fuck off, you guys. It just pisses me off. <sighs> everything is poisonous. None of our food is good. There's fucking poison in all of the candy and the chips. I just watched a documentary yesterday about fucking soil. Okay, did you know that our vegetables today are like 80% less nutritious than they were 40 years ago because of all the pesticides, all the bullshit they're putting into the soil? Your vegetables aren't even fucking healthy anymore. Milk is not even milk. Your juice is from concentrate, whatever the fuck that even means. Your limes are being painted. I mean, like, what kind of fucking world do we live in, you guys? I'm just like, I'm over it. Like, who, how did we all get forced to sign up for this shit? Seriously. Like, why? <laughs> I saw this post that made me die. I wish I had it up right now, but basically it was on Facebook. This girl was saying like, I am so tired of all these fucking fees. If I pay my rent online, there's a fee. If I want to get my money out of the bank to get cash, it's a fee. You want to order DoorDash, there's a fee. You want to pay for like, there's fees for everything. You can't go to the doctor for free. I mean, just like so many things wrong with society. And then you go on Instagram and you see fucking wars and you see all the bullshit happening around the world and you're just like, wow, what the fuck do I even do? What do I even do to make this better? What can I do except scroll to the next thing? Can I repost it on my story? Is that doing fucking anything? Really, is it doing anything? I don't even know, you guys, but like it is just draining my life force it's making me such an unhappy person i feel like i'm gonna cry right now i'm also gonna start my period in like a week so like i'm just emotional in general but it's just it's crazy i'm really excited to get off social media honestly i feel like it's just gonna bring my happiness back i'm gonna be able to really just think for myself again because you know when i think about <laughs> i don't know i have like two different versions of myself and I feel like 
they're almost at odds, but at the same time, I'm going to find a way for them to collide. But it's like, I have one version of me. I've got the boss bitch version. This is a version of me driving a pink Jeep, <laughs> you know, making a million dollars, being super successful, getting flown to festivals and on stages to give speeches, writing a book, being semi-famous, being an influencer. Like there's a huge part of me that wants that. But at the same time, there's an equally part of me that wants to just completely disconnect, live off grid, be offline, grow my own food, be in sync with nature and the seasons and my body and my womb and the moon and be a witch and make for I and mean, make potions from things that I grow in my garden and make everything homemade and really just be detached from reality and connected to how things were in the old days like these are the two parts of me that are really at battle right now i know one day they're gonna kiss and be married it's gonna all work out but it's just like the more that my dream and our future off grid is like really coming true like we're moving in six months you guys six months we are moving to our land that's crazy that is fucking crazy i'm leaving the city to go live in the middle of nowhere and i'm so excited and it's literally all that i think about and the more that i want that and the closer that it gets it makes me like feel even more sickened with society and even more just like disgust like i went out with my friends the other night I used to love going out. I used to love the club and love partying and love dancing all night. And I was just not having it. I was like, why are all these people talking to me? All these guys want to do is fuck me. Stop trying to grab my ass. No, I don't even want to drink alcohol. I had like one cranberry vodka and I felt horrible. Like I woke up the next day and I just didn't feel good. And I was like, that wasn't fun. That wasn't what I really want to do at all. Like I have no desire to do that again. But when I think about moving to the big island and you know, there's a huge spiritual community there. They have like alcohol free, like it's called ecstatic dance. And it's like, you're literally out on the beach. There's naked drum circles and ecstatic dance and people and just like, that feels like my vibe. That is definitely the vibe. And my life right now feels like it's not the vibe. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it's also me just like, not feeling grateful for where I am. And I can definitely, like there is so much beauty about how the world is right now. I can totally acknowledge that. I love the convenience. I love the information. I love how connected we can be. But at the same time, I also just like, I wanna think for myself. I want to just be in my own energy and not get information and opinions and ideas from all these random people around me that I'm not even consenting to, but things that I'm just absorbing on social media. And I just wanna like break the habit and break the addiction because I am truly addicted. And I only spend like less than an hour on my phone a day, but I can feel the addiction. I can feel when I'm driving, I have the urge to like grab my phone and be on my phone for no reason whatsoever. Besides the fact that like, I am literally addicted. So I just want to detox that and like ground myself and just be in my freaking own beautiful manifestation energy every day for the rest of the year and like disconnect and detach and figure some shit out. I don't know. Do y'all agree? What are your opinions? Do you feel like social media is ruining your life? Do you feel like you have a good balance with social media? Like... I don't know. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this because this is just something that's been like weighing so heavy on me the past week. And also, I don't know, I'm just getting so much like negative news and negative information thrown my way and like literally traumatizing myself for shit that's happening millions of miles away. You know what I mean? Like, what is the point? What is the point? Anyway, y'all, I'm high. I just smoked a bowl and I just wanted to share. So let me know your opinions. Let me know if any of this resonated with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.